Good morning, everyone. Today, I believe, is day four of actual sheep hunting, not including our hike, and uh, six in the morning. We're just getting ready to go. The weather's supposed to cooperate with us, as you can see, orange skies at morn. Sailor be warned, I'm no sailor, but I think that's the saying. And uh, we got all our gear packed, and we're going for a big long hike today. Let's uh, hope we get ahead of the other hunters that are up here. If not, we're gonna go farther than them anyways, I know that, so it'd just be nice to be ahead of them, not trying to screw them or anything. We're gonna go way, 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 way back, farther than we ever have. And uh, we packed extra water, extra food, extra clothing, just in case we don't make it back, but uh, we'll make it back with a ram, hopefully. That's the goal. Well, that's our goal the whole trip. So I will show you as we journey along. Wish us luck. And uh, we're only an hour into our hike and we spotted uh, four, four rams in one spot. They were all young. There's one ram right in front of us here at 700 meters. He's about half curl. And then up over there, there's a couple sheep. We should have looked at them, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of far to go. So we're going to head way back, 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 back there. We got a long way to go. We've only been hiking an hour. We've already put some good uh, distance on. So uh, we're just going to keep hiking and glassing as we go. And uh, hopefully it keeps the cycle of what's been happening this morning and spotting rams as we go. Somewhere around here there's got to be one that has a, a full, court, full curl. Okay. It's been what, 11 days, 9 days since opening and it sounds like no one's taken a ram. Yeah, I don't know if they had a bad year and or whatever and a lot of rams died off or just the way the cycle is. I don't know, I've never seen this before. But uh, anyways, we're going to continue on. We're heading up over there. Okay, we're just hiking along here. That ramp is right over there. I can see with my bare eyes. But hopefully we get to the top before he does. I don't want to spook him, but it's not looking good. I'm guessing we're under 500 meters from him now. Seems to be by himself. There's a three-quarter curl ram there. I'm free-handing this, so and I'm out of breath. Five hundred and fifty meters away. And we're gonna continue on. We gotta kind of go above him, right behind that. It's just hiding his head now. Oops. I'm prehanding this, guys. Be patient with me. Okay, so uh, we're gonna continue on. Gotta be legal rams around here somewhere. I'm trying not to use my poles. Another couple of years, three years. I don't see him now, but I know he's there. I don't see anything else around us. But uh, we're gonna continue on here. We are pinned down where we wanna go. I don't know if you can see that ridge line right up there, but there's three rams bedded down up there. One of them's real wide, but 
it doesn't make it you won't be able to see it i don't think you see the ridge line maybe you can but uh, then the fog came in which helped us to get closer but uh if it gets real thick we can scoop by and it's real thick right now i think we might try that because we just got to go around the base and they're up there okay let's just look there he is okay we're on our way okay everybody the plot thickens so apparently the in-reach weather forecast isn't worth a shit because it's now raining and uh foggy of course can't see nothing we're in the most treacherous part of the hike right now so uh, we're just taking a break and we sweated pretty good coming in here and now we're getting cold really quick so yeah. <coughs> we just had a bite to eat a little bit of water it's going to be tough finding the trail now with the fog and plus with the rocks being wet they're super slippery so the plan is to take our time go real slow and try to dry ourselves because we're wet from sweat but yet stay warm enough that we're not cold and then when we get to where we <clears throat> gotta go basically we'll probably set the tarp up and wait this weather out until it clears until we can see something hopefully the rain doesn't last but uh as you can see that's our view We did, those sheep did end up, uh, we had to walk right below them within 100 yards, 200 yards. Yeah. They just walked away. I don't think they were spooked. They don't think they really knew what we were. So the wind was in our favor. We just, I don't think they could see us with the fog because we had trouble seeing them, but they do have better eyesight than us. So anyways, I'm not going to bore you with any more details. Just uh, hopefully I'm going to show you some sheep here soon. One more thing I want to tell you, we are at... Uh, 2,195 meters, which is 7,000 feet in elevation. Um, and here comes the rain again. We might have to set up a tarp now. A couple of young rams. He's gonna bed. They know we're here. 450 meters. And then way across over there on that knoll. I don't know if you'll be able to see him, but there's a U and a lamb. Keep continuing back, but uh, we're gonna end up spooking those sheep. So, I don't know. There's some more glass in here. Hey everyone, so uh, the weather's kind of changed on us, and uh, we are now a foursome. We met <laughs> uh, met Chris here. How's it going? And Ayrton. Uh, they're up here sheep hunting as well, and they were, had the same plan we had today, so uh, <laughs> we decided to. Uh, Band our knowledge together and uh, see what we can find. Uh, hopefully, we'll find some rams <laughs> and uh, get the hell out of here. Yeah. Because we're a long ways back. <laughs> we're probably close to 10k back already from our tents. And of course, the in-reach weather was wrong, and uh, <laughs> it's raining. So uh, we're getting kind of chilly. We stopped for lunch, so we're just gonna get our sweat back on. We're heading way up there, and uh, hopefully, we'll find some rams. There's a mountain back here. It has a ton of goats on them, but uh, they can stay there as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so uh, let's go yeah, find some sheep. Appreciate you, you betcha, letting man. us hook up with yeah. you, man. All right. Gotcha. Okay, everybody. So let's go find some sheep and uh, show you something more exciting. Okay, everyone. We just came over that uh, back saddle. I just looked at my watch. We've gone 11 kilometers from our tent. And now we're going to head up over there. We did see a sheep up on that back mountain over there heading away. So we're gonna head over there anyways and check it out. There's a really nice trail going. So it shouldn't be too long to get there. And we'll stop at the bottom and get water and rehydrate really good. So uh, that's the plan. Ready guys? You betcha. <laughs> Anything to say? 
lead on. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet bunch. All right, everybody. We'll chat. Okay, everyone, we've gone a long way. Probably 15k from our tents. This is all new country to us. Check out that mountain, how black it is. I have no clue what that is. Is slag or coal? Sand, black sand, who knows? But we, I'll use. There are actually five sheep on there. They're working away from us and they're all used. Just confirmed. So the time is... We did see a, re a sheep over here, that's why we came up here. It could have been those ones, we're not sure, but we don't see anything here now. But it's just so tempting to just keep going and going and going, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Like, look at over there, doesn't that look nice? <laughs> They're just over the next hill. Exactly. And the next thing you know, we're running out of daylight. So I'm gonna have a quick bite to eat, eat quick bite to eat here and then uh, continue on. Keep glassing here. Maybe we'll see something else. Sorry Rob. <laughs> Reason I said sorry Rob is because I always drop my pole and he has to pick it up for me. But uh I've seen lots of goats and lots of using lambs. There's a whole pile of goats over there. Um whole pile of goats up there uh, behind us. Over on that black mountain, there was five ewes and maybe a lamb. So it's like four o'clock. We got 15k to go back, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. We gotta head up there, down there, up and down, and up and down three times. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. So uh, we'll hunt our way out, and uh, hopefully we'll see something. You never know unless you try. Right, Rob? Yep. Hi, <laughs> okay, everyone. So we're still hiking here. It's probably about 4.30. Kind of hiking and hunting our way out. Look at this game trail. Wish they were all like this. Takes us all the way up to there. Well, the only animals really in here is probably the odd bear. And sheep and goats. I would use this predominantly. And look at it in the in the dirt here. It sure makes covering country a lot faster. It's very nice up here. But I think it's kind of kind of flat for the rams. They like the more rocky, kind of like that over there. But you could see them anywhere at any time. Keep your eyes peeled and walk around. <laughs> the biggest thing is, is when you're walking like this and you're looking around, not to trip. Do that all the time. See this trail awesome? which is like this all the way back. We came back 15K, so by the time we're done, it's gonna be right around 30K. And I think we got maybe five and a half hours of light left, and uh, we'll be hiking the whole time. And then it'll be dinner in bed, and I got no clue what we're doing tomorrow. Not a clue. It's not gonna be an excursion like this. I don't know. Tomorrow's Wednesday, I think. I don't even know that. But yeah, this trail just goes on like this. I'm babbling, probably boring you. So I'm gonna let you all go. So it is now seven o'clock. We have been hiking, or we have hiked almost or over 21 kilometers. And if you look up ahead, it's that big pointy, you have to go over top of that and back uh, two more 
valleys or two more mountains. <laughs> it might be dark when we get back. I've seen a ton of goats. A um, bunch of... A uh, bunch of ewes and lambs. A bunch of young rams. <sighs> At least the weather's cooperating now. I don't think we'll see rain again. Whew. But yeah, I'm gonna take a break up here. This is a flat spot up here. I'll uh, rehydrate and eat some food and then continue on. Hope I'm not boring you guys. I'm just trying to do a little more filming than I usually did. The last video I thought sucked in 20. So uh, showing you the country that and what it takes to hunt sheep here in BC unguided. It'll be over 30k today for sure. Guaranteed. It's gonna be a personal record. Sheep hunting for me and Rob. Almost thinking he has Chris and uh, his friend too. But uh, that guy just keeps going. And yeah, I'm the oldest one here. By quite a bit. But still keeping up. Okay, everyone. Uh, take a last look around. And uh, I'll chat with you guys soon. We're still hiking. What time is it, Rob? It's 9.02. We started at 6 this morning and we pretty much haven't stopped. Um, we still got quite a ways to go. At least an hour. Hours to go, I think. Yeah, hour and a half, two hours for sure. We gotta go. You can maybe see that trail. I don't know if you can, but it winds through all that rocky shit. And then we gotta go down and then along a great big side hill and then down. <laughs> and then up. The, yeah, and then up. Well, we'll go around again. So anyways, we're just sitting here on the mountain having a break. And then uh, we hunted hard today. We covered a ton of country. It's gonna be, oh, I think over 30 kilometers we've hiked. It's just nuts. And all on this rocky stuff, some grassy stuff, some nice trails, some bad trails, up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I think the guys I'm with are enjoy enjoyed it. I enjoyed their company. And uh, the day's not done yet. We still could run into a ram. So, you know, I'm serious, man. It has happened to us. It's happened to us yeah, on this trail. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we're going to head out now. And uh, hopefully we find a ram before we get out of here. If not, well, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. But... Uh, it might not be too much after 30k today. <laughs> Shoulders are sore, feet will be sore, but uh, oh well. That's sheep hunting. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to do a little gear dump here of my food for each day. Always have a bagel, one bagel. In here, I got moose jerky and cheese. Looks like I got an extra cheese, so that's good. Then I'll have this one of these bags for each day in it. I brought four of these. These are just those Costco trail mixes. One sort of bar, whether it's a chocolate bar, protein bar, or whatever. Uh, a mini Jif little pack here, and this is for the jerky. I will pack four of these uh, Wilderness Athlete Hydration Drinks. One is Energy and Focus, and the other one is a complete electrolyte fuel. Usually pack at least one of these honey stinger chews. Very good when we're making a play on a ram or doing a stock and uh, we need a quick boost. We split a pack of these and it works out real good. I brought one mountain house breakfast and also have, can't think of oh, oatmeal. Just some instant oatmeal. 
I bring four Mr. Noodles and I tell you right now, the Mr. Noodles are just hitting the spot and uh, I'm actually gonna have one now, it's gonna be breakfast. Um, we got, I'll bring two of these Honey Stinger waffles and with them, I got this Justin's Hazelnut, nut butter I think it's called. My bag of vitamins, multivitamins, I take lots of multivitamins as you can see. And four chews, these are high chews. Very tasty and uh, just good to keep in your pocket and snack on. And then uh, one mountain house for dinner and this one happens to be lasagna. And that is what I pack each day for when I am sheep hunting in the back country. And I put it all in this stuff sack here and uh, I'll be packing out some extra food. So uh, yeah, that's what I bring for food on a backcountry backpack hunt. And I think Rob pretty much brings about the same thing. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more action. I don't think we're hunting anymore. Weather's bad, it's actually raining right now. And uh, I'll do a recap here in a bit on what happened yesterday. Thanks everyone, it's time for some Mr. Noodles. How are you today, Rob? Uh, I'm good, I'm sore. Uh, after that 30 kilometer hike, I don't really have a <laughs> good air mattress to sleep on, so. Now let's see the air mattress. Uh, I've folded it up, I've learned. If you just put enough air and folded it up, it's good, but it's pretty flat right now. So all the little se seams inside there broke and it's a big tumor. There's no way to sleep on it when it's fully inflated. Yeah, looks yeah like look that. at that. So X-Bed, come on, send him a new one. <laughs> that would be sweet. And mine has a hole in it too. So uh, send me a new one as well. Uh, okay, everybody, that's enough talking. <laughs>